they're sensing this danger that the Swans are in. Enter Buddy Franklin under the scene. He delays the give. Franklin, this is... In the world of Australian rules football, few names command the respect, admiration and awe that Lance Buddy Franklin does. A player whose impact on the game transcends statistics, Franklin's career is a tale of brilliance, power and an unrelenting pursuit of greatness. Born on January 30, 1987 in Perth, Western Australia, Lance Franklin's journey to AFL stardom began in his hometown. Prestigious talent from a young age, Franklin's ability to kick goals, outmaneuver opponents and electrify crowds set him apart from the rest. At the National Draft today, taking two key position players with their first two picks. Roughhead uh, with their first pick at number two. That was the concessionary selection. A lot of people thought it was going to be tambling. We've discussed that already. And Lance Franklin, the centre-half forward from Perth with their second pick shifter. I think Gary Bacanara as the recruiting manager would be happy with that group. He's got the bookends there in Roughhead and Franklin that can play both ends. In the 2004 AFL Draft, Hawthorne took a chance on the 17-year-old Franklin with pick number five. It was a decision that would change the course of AFL history. Buddy's debut season in 2005 gave fans a taste of what was to come. With his imposing 6 foot 6 frame, blistering speed and an ability to kick goals from almost anywhere, Franklin quickly became one of the most exciting young players in the league. 2008 was Franklin ascended into stardom. He became the first player since Tony Lockett to kick over 100 goals in a season, finishing with 113. His performance in the grand final against Geelong, helping Hawthorne to their first premiership since 1991, solidified his place as one of the game's greats. In one of the most talked about moves in AFL history, Franklin shocked the football world by signing a massive nine-year contract with the Sydney Swans in 2013. Many questioned whether he could live up to the enormous expectations that came with such a big deal. That's the reason why I chose Sydney. That was the thing, uh, I'd left to Pickers, um, a manager from, from the start. My thoughts the whole year were with Hawthorne and I just wanted to win the premiership with Hawthorne and then from there I'd make my decision. So um, did I muck around with GWS? No, not at all. Oh, look, it's, <coughs> it's clearly one of the uh, uh, biggest signings the club's had. Um, Lance is one of the greatest players to play our game, so we think he will be playing. At 35, sure, there's a degree of risk. There's a degree of risk with everything you do, but uh, um, we think he's got. Uh, there's no reason not to think he won't be still playing then. But far from done. Over the next decade, he continued to amaze, reaching the milestone of a thousand career goals in 2022. Only the sixth player in AFL history to do so. His presence on the field was nothing short of mesmerising. His ability to turn a game in an instant unmatched. However, Buddy never managed to win a premiership at Sydney, which had people questioning if his move from Hawthorne was the right decision. Lance Buddy Franklin, a player who redefined what was possible on the AFL field. A legend whose name will echo through the ages. Buddy was more than just a footballer. He was a phenomenon. At the dismay of many AFL fans, after an 18-year career and two clubs, Buddy Franklin called it quits in 2023, retiring from the Sydney Football Club as one of the greatest players to ever do it.